Hey everybody, how's it going? So uh, today I'm working on a stereo system for the motorhome. I got these speakers at uh, the Goodwill out here. Can't remember so much. There we go. So, Three ninety nine at the Goodwill each, and I already tried them out. They sound really good. Uh, I got one of these amplifiers. I think it was like thirteen bucks on Amazon and just wired in. I'm gonna get a cigarette plug adapter for the power supply. Uh, I'm just using the plug it came with right now. Uh, let's see, I'll turn it up. It's not copyright infringement if it's not 15 seconds. So. It has blown in the past And with this crush, this old age and its wisdom all right, so that's not copyright infringement. It was just a few seconds, but yeah, these things sound really good. I'm going to work on cleaning up all this wiring. I need to just clean up over here. I'm going to get a new charge controller. This thing was on eBay, cheap, and uh, you need to use super thin gauge wire. It doesn't even take the thin stuff I got. Um, so I'm going to, I don't know. We're going to straighten stuff up there. It's a project in the works, but... I thought I'd mount these up and uh, show you guys how it goes, so here we go. See, that's kind of what I was going for here because they're on a swivel, so I can point them out towards our camp a little bit or now I'm angled in, have them plugged to the TV, so it's pretty sweet. I'll hook up the other and uh, see what I'm going to do about this wiring. I hate all the cords and... Ah, sorry, I almost knocked you over. I hate all the cords in the RV and all the wires. It's just... It's unsightly. Very utilitarian. So I think we can do better. But we'll get function first then... Jeez, uh, I keep hitting that, sorry. We'll get function first, and then I'll make it look pretty. So that was pretty easy. Um, this is what we came up with. I'm just kind of tucking that wire behind for now. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to get a better start on it and try and run it through this cabinet because this is actually hollow in here. That's how they got all the wiring in there where the, where the light used to be. So for now I'm just going to kind of make sure everything works before I don't get too carried away and then we'll I don't know, I might have to get a fish tape or something. I got a few ideas in the mix to kind of redneck it so I don't have to buy one, but I just, yeah, that looks so bad. <laughs> it's not a fire hazard, it's just speaker wire. We're, we're all right. Uh, so before we had those, uh, before we got these speakers, this is what we were using, were these uh, X-Boom. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Maybe not. So that pops open, gives a little more bass sound. They're they're all right. Um, I think they're less than twenty bucks on eBay, but they're starting to go out. This one I had to patch, and that eventually stopped working. But they do have another headphone jack. But I wanted to upgrade, and for less than twenty five bucks, less than twenty five bucks, I got this whole system set up. Hey everybody. What's going on? So day two, messing with the wires and cleaning this up. I started out today, uh, went down and engaged with the wiring for my charge controller so it'll actually fit and tighten in with the screws. Um, so now it's displaying my solar panels, battery, 13.1 right now. Um, I decided to keep it. I was going to go back to the original Renogy one just because, you know, this is an eBay charge controller, but 
I like that it actually shows everything's connected and the voltage, which is a big plus. Um, also that it has two USB. So that's been pretty nice and giving us a lot more cords to have over here and look at. So I'm gonna clean this up and while I'm in here messing with the battery and messing with, we're gonna do the speaker wire and try and get this coax cable put away. I bought a little toy. And I'll show you guys more of this. Um, it's just a more advanced uh, voltmeter display. Uh, it has like four different um, displays on it. Uh, your draw, what you're bringing in, what you have. Um, and I'm going to install it right here because I've noticed I'm sitting on the couch over here. Sorry about the mess. Um, I can't see what that's saying, so I got to get up all the time to look at it and lean in the corner. And she's usually sitting there, and she just loves when I come running in and leaning in the corner and getting in her way. So uh, it'll be really nice. I can just look at it right there. And this is pretty cool too. This is the siding out of um, it's the bench portion there, but this is the original siding. So if I ever cracked our wall or anything, I could repair it, but. I kind of want to get rid of the windows in the bed. We'd have something to patch it, but that it's a little too patchy, even for patches. Um, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, I thought I'd show you guys. I had this uh, Burnzomatic. I was using this for doing uh, heat shrink tubing, things like that. It is nice as a soldering tip, but those are like 15 bucks. This is an eight dollar um, windproof lighter I bought for starting campfires. Yeah, so. It actually keeps the flame going and that thing blows out all the time unless you're in the most airtight working area so it goes out and just keep clicking it I'm gonna keep this around just if I ever had to solder but yeah I thought I'd share that with you guys this is like eight bucks at a gas station so way nicer and they great for starting campfires okay enough talking I'm gonna play with some wires all right everyone so I've been saying how I hate looking at these wires and I found out when I installed the TV that the inside of this cupboard, it's hollow. It's got about an inch gap in there so I can run wire through. Um, I had a friend here, said he had a fish tape. If you guys don't know what a uh, fish tape is, I'll pop a picture in there. It's for running wire through walls and things like that. Um, and you run it through, tie your wire to it, and then reel it back. Cheapest one I saw was 20 bucks, and I don't really want to spend 20 bucks to do this, so I'm going to do my little rednecky thing here and uh, have some bailing wire that I'm going to try running through there and uh, chase it with the magnet and kind of pull it through. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's better than spending 20 bucks or saving 20 bucks, not spending it if I don't have to, so that's part of RV life. Do it yourself and make your own tools, so let's drill some holes in this. Okay, that's not going to work. So, we're going to try something else. I'm just going to run it through here and then run it through the inside of the cupboard, kind of up against the wall. Uh, none of my ideas were working with that, and I kind of wanted to get this done, so I'm not going to wait to go buy a tool. And It'll be alright, i got to take everything out of here and... Uh, um, run some wiring through there and then put everything back but I think it's gonna look a lot nicer than all this so that's what it looks like now it's always gonna get worse before it gets better alright so just had to make a huge mess but look at that now Clean it all up. Got all my speaker wire running up through, coming up through the cupboard, and yeah, you know, it would have been nice to do it in there, but whatever. You'll never see it, and I'm just tucking wiring away with some old clips. And I think I'm gonna save this thing for another video. Um, it's kind of complicated, and 
looks like it's gonna be a lot more work than it is so for now I'm gonna clean all this up because it's getting kind of dark and I'm gonna start making dinner I think so thanks for watching guys I uh, hope that helps you at all if not I'm just glad you guys watch and got some entertainment out of it this is my you know homemade surround sound system it's nothing glamorous but I think I you know under 25 bucks I got nice speakers uh, the amplifier and we were able to fix up the solar system today too so feeling good about that guess I'll wrap this up real quick saying um, we just hit 1,000 subscribers so uh, thanks so much guys I really appreciate you know, all the support I've got and the fact that this many people are watching and subscribing it's really cool I started this out just kind of messing around to have fun and document my travels without flooding my computer I was just using YouTube as a way of uh, storing videos so it's really cool the channel's grown and I feel like I've made a lot of friends and love talking to you guys thanks again and uh, love you all so much um, follow us on Instagram if you haven't and yeah we'll see you on the next one so thanks a lot guys thanks to the ones that have uh, been there from the beginning and to you guys that are just jumping in now see you on the next one